we'll proceed to our connections competition. I would like to invite Andrew Pride, Vice President, Conservation with the Ontario, Ontario Power Authority, and a strong supporter of the Connections Award to join us on the stage for the Connections Awards. While Andrew was taking the stage, let me give you a little background on this award. Each year, Ontario's best student researchers showcase their final year college and university undergrad Connections projects to a panel of judges at OCE's Discovery Conference. These final year undergrads have been working with business partners to address technology problems currently affecting industry. To get a better understanding of the exciting work presented by the Connections competitors over the past two days, let's take a look at the following highlights from yesterday's competition. Our goal was to provide ECR with the chamber that they needed, but on a budget of $5,000. My team and I set forth to solve Ross and Dole's very common problem in the industry today. This problem is the prototyping process. So what we suggested was some very simple CNC machinery that is commonplace. It's a little obsolete, but it's still very effective. What they want us to do is develop an optical solution that would have less noise and uh, just be a more clear contact. What differentiates our scoreboard from others in the industry is how it's controlled. It's a very intuitive, accurate, intelligent, and user-friendly program. To fix this problem, our client wanted to develop a fully mechanical and automatic system to remove snow from the solar panels. So our group was asked to investigate turbine technologies on the Little Jackfish River, located in Northern Ontario. Our team has worked with the Physical Resource Department at Algonquin College to analyze and report trends in electricity consumption. The vehicle-to-grid concept, or V2G, would allow EVs to act as battery backup for the entire power grid. Essentially what we're building is a program to help users build their own wind turbine right here. So what our company contact Bill Dell saw for us was a 4x4 plasma cutting machine at the $10,000 price point with a 30% margin and a 10 machine payback. We've been working with Magna Powertrain to create a variable flow coolant pump um, for use in automotive industry. Our goal is to build a wind turbine which will produce 40% more in terms of power, uh, we'll have uh, much quieter in terms of uh, the electrical noise and also the physical noise. We did our project with Diamond Aircraft Industries Canada and their main goal is to generate a fully composite single engine jet turbine aircraft. Some of the solutions in the box America area include an economic production quantity model to schedule production on machines and incorporate the manpower. This year, Connections prizes fall into three categories, with one $2,000 prize given to each team in the following categories. Category one, best Connections project by a university team. Category two, best Connections project by a college team. And category three, best Connections project by an Ontario Power Authority supported team. I'd like to now invite the following three student groups to the stage to accept their $2,000 cash prize for the best final college university undergraduate projects. Winner of the best Connections University Project Award goes to Ryan Bridge, Ben DeClouds, Bricklin Wilson, Laura Watkinson, Colin Murphy from McMaster University. Winner of the Best Connections College Project Award goes to Terrence Morrison, Vincent Mishucci,
Travis Luisi, Fabian Ricolet from Algonquin College. <laughs> and the winner of the Ontario Power Authority Energy Conservation Project Award goes to Chris Harris, McLean Shea from Queen's University. Mm -hmm. 